All right, today I'm going to talk about impacts of technology. There, uh, in the last lesson, we talked about outputs. Outputs is uh, the actual result of a system, and the actual results of the systems can be either four different things. It could be desired, which means wanted, and expected, which is something that you predict that's going to happen. It could be undesired or unexpected, desired and unexpected, and undesired and expected. Let me share an example with you. Okay, the outputs from a power plant illustrate four possible types of outputs. So number one is over here by the wires. That is expected and desirable. Okay, output from the power plant is electricity. The additional output of heat may also have been expected. If we can do something useful with it, it is also desirable. So it's expected to get um, heat and power. It's also desired. Number two, it's pointing to the smoke. Expected and undesirable outputs from the power plant are noise and smoke. Okay, that's undesirable. You don't want it to happen. But we expect when you build a power plant, you're going to get noise and smoke. Number three, unexpected desirable output that's pointing over to the river was found at one power plant. The plant discharged some of its heat into a river, making the water warmer. Tropical fish flourished in the river near the plant, creating an attraction. So that's desirable because you wanted it to happen, but it was definitely unexpected. Number four is pointing to the clouds. An unexpected, undesirable output of plants built some time ago and still operating is their contribution to acid rain. Acid rain actually falls hundreds of miles or more away from the power plant. So as people uh, started to develop power plants, they had no clue that this um, output would happen. So it's unexpected and then obviously it's undesired. Technology can have positive and negative impacts on individual society and environment, just like the power plant example. By itself, technology by itself is neither good or bad, but decisions about the use of products or systems can result in desirable or undesirable consequences. Basic technological, technological literacy is necessary to make informed decisions about technology and its impacts. So it's how you understand technology will help you make better decisions. When engineers develop products, they often cannot include everything they want in their design. Sometimes parts are too costly or the product will harm the environment. They often have to make trade-offs. A trade-off is an example of one option in order to gain a better option. So an example, a part must, might cost more money, but it will last, last longer. Or like the power plant example, the power plant is going to give you electricity, but it's going to create noise and smoke. Therefore, there's a lot of negative, because there's a lot of negative outputs, we always have to optimize the system. Optimization is a process of seeking or developing the best solution to a problem. The best solution for a problem is not likely to be found the first time. This makes it possible for future developments to improve or optimize a product. So there's less undesirable outputs. When new technology is developed, decisions are made regarding the amount of risk that is acceptable in attaining a solution. Many of these risks were not considered as carefully as they should have been, and we are now just seeing to see some of their side effects. So let's take an example. Let's take a look at an example, which is a, a smartphone. Okay, so in the uh, video here, we're going to stop the video, and I'm going to ask you guys a few questions based on the impacts of technology.